So, before Season 17 released, the developers posted a picture of this, and it's just the old firing range, right? Well, actually, for some reason, there's a red knockdown shield, which, uh, if I need to remind you, we don't have one of those. So what could this possibly be for? Well, I'm going to lay down a theory which could be true and could give Newcastle an inadvertent buff, because if you look, now that the red knockdown shield was added to this fire range, there's now two separate lines of knockdown shields in the same place for some reason. And why would Respawn do this? Well, the same reason they did it with body armor, because my theory is, one line of these knockdown shields are going to be solid knockdown shields, you cannot evo them at all, and one line is going to be a new type of knockdown shield that you can evo with damage, which makes a lot of sense in my head, because why would you need two separate lines? The only other place this is done is with armor that does not evo and armor that evos. I mean, it's pretty simple in my opinion. And this will buff Newcastle because he could slowly get better knockdown shields within the game and have a better revive shield. So if this is going to happen and Respawn weren't just tested it, that would be such an awesome upgrade to Newcastle and every legend on a whole, because it would make it so the further into the game you are, the less chance you have of being thirsted by someone who's just really greedy. So what are your thoughts on this? Would you mess with knockdown evo shields and subscribe for a knockdown evo shield?